also call it Obamacare. I believe it was started by Barack Obama, and then it's more related to ensuring healthcare for everybody. I mean, I know what it is. I'm trying to think of the best way to say what it is. The Affordable Care Act is an act passed in 2010 that expanded health care coverage in the United States. The Affordable Care Act was introduced by Democrats under Barack Obama in 2009. It was signed into law in March 2010. Expanded access to millions and millions of Americans, about 12 to 13 million through uh, the Medicaid program. To make healthcare more affordable for Americans who can't necessarily afford it or who aren't covered in, by work or whatnot. Insurance companies are kind of like a monopoly in uh, the U.S. and they're not available to everyone. Therefore, millions of Americans were without insurance. Um, so Obama decided to enact the Affordable Care Act to take care of that. The Obama administration rather saw it necessary to step in and make a program for everybody um, that would be more affordable and also accessible. The Obama administration and the more moderate Democrats they went for what was seen as a more moderate approach that had originated with the Conservative Heritage Foundation and passed in Massachusetts by Governor Mitt Romney. Uh, and this idea was to kind of merge uh, the idea of public subsidies and rules uh, along with government subsidies. This became the uh, insurance exchanges that are at the core, at least one of the cores of Obamacare. Um, people. Anyone who is in need of health care. Especially people with pre-existing conditions. Um, the only people that really benefit from the Affordable Care Act are people who actually already have um, health insurance um, through some organization. I think a lot of people benefited um, because it added things like people were allowed to get um, birth control for free and that kind of thing that were, wasn't always necessarily available to them previously. The main beneficiaries of the Affordable Care Act are people who have low income. There are now subsidies for lower middle class and well into the middle class, um, including families making, you know, almost $100,000 a year. All these folks uh, have benefited enormously from the Affordable Care Act. And so when the conversation moves to well, let's repeal it. What we're generally looking at is shifting resources from those who have been sick, older or middle and lower income people, moving that to the younger folks and those who are more affluent. 